Okay, today we're going to look at replacing this outdoor faucet. Um, it's not like most faucets you've seen. Uh, we get the water uh, supply from in, inside the house here. All the pipe work is within this uh, exterior wall, so we have no access to the copper piping from the inside. Um, it's connected to this uh, a PVC tube which goes underground and leads to our backyard irrigation system. Uh, we're not, we no longer use this on the property so um, we're just going to block this off and replace all of this with something a lot simpler. So what we have here, um, I don't know how old these pipes are, uh, at least 30 years I imagine. Um, we had a compression fitting on the end of this, uh, otherwise called as a, no, well known as an olive. And what you're not supposed to do with those is over compress them, otherwise it crimps the pipe. And when you have a crimp in the pipe and it's not perfectly circular, you can get leaks. And what happened here was it was over crimped and over time it had a backwards leak which led through here and into our kitchen cabinet. So. We don't really have much room to work with and I don't have any soldering tools so what is on the market now is something called a shock bite and what a shock bite is, it's I think, uh, an Australian company and it allows you to connect copper tubing and pecs and things like that without the need for soldering it simply just slots on. It has a 25 year warranty and there's a lot of videos on YouTube where it's tested against uh, few hundred pounds of pressure and it, it holds really well uh, when you buy them they come with a small plastic tube in here you can take that out if you want to with copper piping uh, I took it out uh, there's a lot of mixed reviews about doing that the manufacturer leaves it up to you I took it out uh, with other types of pipe like plastic uh, pipe you should leave that in um, so uh, my solution to this problem is I'm going to trim the end of here you can see it's been nipped. Um, you can get copper reshaping tools, resizing tools that makes it circular again, but with something like this, they're not very effective. They're usually for bent uh, ends of pipe. So I'm not gonna use a resizing tool. I'm just gonna nip the end off here with a pipe cutting tool. This is about $7 from Home Depot. You can probably get it cheaper online. So it goes like this, you rotate it round like so, and that will trim the end off and get it nice and flush. We're going to then deburr it, and here this is a shark bite uh, connector on this end, and it has a female uh, screw in the end here, which connects to our faucet or tap. So uh, let's see how we're going to do this. Okay, so I've placed my copper pipe cutting tool on the end of this um, nipped end. Uh, you just tighten it up like so and just slowly rotate it. Once you've gone around a couple of times, tighten it even more. Keep rotating all the way around until the end comes off. So that's the first step. Okay, so after many, many rotations, especially if you have an awkward working space, it makes it kind of harder. Uh, you're going to get the end of your copper pipe pop off the and it does make a really nice straight cut. Uh, and before you pop your shark bite on this end, you just gotta deburr it. Um, get rid of those loose edges, as you can see there. And uh, once we've done that, we can just pop our shark bite on and uh, turn the water supply on. Um, the uh, last thing I want to say is that um, to remove a shark bite fitting, uh, this plastic end here, when this is pressed down, the shark bite comes off. So when you're working in an environment such as this, such as this, when you put your shark bite on here, it's going to be really hard to push this plastic this way to get your shark bite back off, back off. So just make sure you've prepped the area and everything before you put your shark bite on in a confined space. So that's what we're going to do next. So I pushed the shark fight, uh, bite fitting on there, it's pretty solid, uh, pulling against this, it's not budging at all, there's uh, shark teeth really 
got a good grip on that pipe. Uh, so we're about to uh, turn the water back on and see what we got here. Uh, just make sure you shut the water off with this and check there's no leaks from around here before re-cementing your wall. The last thing you want to do is re-cement this and there's a leak going around here. So that's the next step.